We've just discovered an update to these plans from Tesla, the biggest supercharger station in the world with 200 stalls. That's all well and good, it's nice, but this is actually one of the biggest batteries that Tesla will build. They're gonna put four mega packs there in order to become basically a virtual power plant, which will sell energy back into the grid, but also to thousands of electric car drivers at much, much higher prices than what Tesla will pay for it. And this is all thanks to the magic of solar energy and lithium batteries. Tesla has just begun building the biggest supercharger site in the world. It's going to have a staggering number of chargers in one location. And it's actually in Florida, surprisingly, considering Florida, well, people haven't really taken to electric cars or Tesla's anywhere near as much as they have in other states like California. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Tesla has begun building the largest supercharger station in the world with 200 different charge points. So this will break the world record. There's no bigger one in the world anywhere, not in China or the US or anywhere else, according to site plans filed during a pre-application meeting with Osceola County last month, Tesla will build this supercharger in this supercharger station in Yeehaw Junction with more than 200 charging stalls. And you can see that in these draft plans for the site. Now I had a look guys and I can't see whether or not Tesla is going to be installing a mega pack battery underneath it. They might be though. And you guys know what I think about that? It's a game changer. Yeah, it costs a lot of money to install a mega pack battery. Probably going to cost Tesla about a million dollars if they do it, but it's worth the money because then Tesla can get money, basically get um, print money for free. I'm serious. I mean, essentially what Tesla have been doing, they've been building superchargers, big ones, and putting a mega pack battery underneath it. And they use that battery pack um, to take energy out of the grid when it's cheap. Uh, often energy in the grid is extremely cheap when there's too much. So when there's too many solar panels bringing in too much sun, bring too much electricity, uh, the price of energy can go, go way, way down. It can even be negative sometimes. Also, between the hours of 12 and about 5 a.m. in the morning, electricity is very, very cheap. So those are the times when Tesla would basically charge up the battery and then they use it to sell electricity to consumers when prices are really, really high. So peak times, for example, peak time of the day. The plants shared by ex-user Marco RPI1 on Saturday show the site to be located at 3010 or 3010 State Road 60 off of exit 193 on the Florida Turnpike near the junction with I-95. These plans are only preliminary. They show roughly 160 charging stalls with 40 standalone stalls in addition. And they've also got eight pull-through stalls for trailers. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, eight, eight for trailers, that's pretty cool. You know, you drive in there and you're, I don't know, your electric um, Chevy Silverado or, or your Cybertruck or whatever it may be, or even your Model Y. A lot of people tow with a Model Y and you can just charge in one of those eight locations. Marco says the site is expected to be built in a three-phase construction project with the site opening stalls progressively. In the document, you can see that the GDP Group Inc. are managing construction of the project and the site may include up to four mega packs. So, you know, it may, uh, but four mega packs would be an enormous amount of energy. I mean, this would literally be um, a virtual power plant. And this is what I'm saying. People don't realize that Tesla are becoming uh, one of the biggest energy providers. They are doing this not just in uh, America, by the way. They're doing this also in the UK, where they've actually got a license to run their own electricity network. So this is a significant good way Tesla can make money, because Tesla can't even sell energy back into the grid using those packs. You're not going to just you're not going to just sell it to people who come in and charge their EVs. You're going to actually sell it to people. Uh, who are buying electricity from the grid. So when the grid prices are expensive, Tesla will send energy back into the grid. Uh, four mega packs would be a huge amount of power. And it'd be enough for Tesla to probably easily charge, uh, you know, use all these 200 stalls during the average daily trade without having to actually take energy from the grid. 
and then they can just recharge when prices are cheap. It's, it's such an incredible advantage, isn't it, over a gas station? I mean, imagine if you're a gas station, you could just pull gas out of the network, uh, not have to wait for a truck to come, just pull it out of the network when it's a fraction of the cost, say one-tenth of the cost, and then sell it uh, when the prices are high. That's a pretty cool feature. Anyhow, anyhow, you can see the site plans here. And in February, uh, we also know Tesla did a similar, they actually began building a 164 stall supercharger station in Kern County, California, which will be the largest, well, it was the largest. Now this one is gonna be even bigger. To give you some context on other big stalls, Tesorati says that there is a huge one in Harris Ranch in Coalinga, California, with 98 stalls. There's another one in Arizona, which has 84. But yeah, you can see Tesla really upping the ante here. And I think the key reason they're doing these massive ones is because uh, it's cheaper than trying to put little ones all over the place. Build a big one, put in the big mega packs, put in all the infrastructure that you need to run all this, be able to profit massively from it. But remember, this is a virtual power plant. It's more than just a, a charging station. And remember there as well as that, Tesla are actually getting money from the government to build these. Part of the, you know, the, the big infrastructure plan, uh, the Biden administration's funding, which they're giving out to people, Tesla will get some funding from that to help them build this as well. I personally see this as being a huge profit opportunity for Tesla that no one's really kind of paying attention to. We're just looking at how many cars did Tesla sell last month? How many cars did they sell last month? And I'm, I'm at fault of that as well. I mean, I report on that information regularly but it's hard to find this kind of information. How much money is Tesla gonna make from this kind of a business? I think quite a lot. Keep in mind, the battery packs are CATL cells. So they're lithium ion phosphate cells, which last about twice as long as the previous mega packs Tesla was using. I mean, basically Tesla could make millions of dollars from this one location alone over the next 10, 20, maybe even 30 years. Thanks for watching.